if you're old enough to remember eight tracks, cassette tapes, or an old vinyl record, you'll understand how much the music industry has changed over the last several decades. In this week's business segment, Jennifer Quinones profiles one man's experience in the music industry and tells us it's his passion for music, his instinct to take chances, and good old fashioned hard work that's made him a standout above the rest. Technology in the last decade has forever changed the music industry. Now, more than ever, people have access to music that before was mainly controlled by large record companies. For smaller independent record labels and their lesser known artists, it has become a dream come true. Well, I couldn't have started my own company had it not been for the internet. It really allowed us to compete with the major labels and people with a lot more money. Um, now it's become uh, a challenge because the economic system with MP3s and, and people downloading illegally, it's turned out to be as much of a challenge as it is a benefit. Andy Factor is the founder and co-president of Everloving, an independent record label and management company. Before he started his own company in 2000, he was vice president of A&R at Virgin Records, developing and working with such artists as Ben Harper, Smashing Pumpkins, and Paula Abdul. My first real exciting job was talent scout at Virgin Records in America. They were an English label that had just moved out here, and I had gotten a job in the mailroom and worked my way up into the creative department. I ended up working there for almost 13 years. Eventually, I hit the ceiling, more or less, for my growth there. So I went out and started my own company. Listening to his gut instinct, Factor believed in one singer that had been passed over by big labels such as Virgin. That artist, Jack Johnson. You can make it up next time. I know she knows it's not right. After leaving Virgin in 1999, Factor and his new company financed Johnson's first album, Brush Fire Fairy Tales. We have always made music because we love it and we think that what we hear are things that other people will enjoy. Doing it for myself, we get to see the result of our endeavors. Whether that succeeds or not is left to our own efforts and talent. And now we know where we stand given the day's work. Suppers. With the Growlers, we have seven young people who live together in a warehouse that tour in a converted biodiesel school bus and sleep on the bus. And economically, we couldn't afford to grow their careers if they weren't so able to rough it. But it's not just the artists that need to be willing to go the extra mile. Factor and his team follow that attitude as well. A commitment to hard work to maintain and promote the integrity of the music they believe in most is the goal. That seems to be the winning business plan Factor has stood by faithfully to successfully continue his business in the 21st century. Being an entrepreneur is freeing and it allows you creative control, but it certainly requires you to be an accountant and a lawyer and a good executive people person. It requires you to invest in yourself and reinvest in yourself for say vacations to grow your business and that's a choice you make every day. It's definitely worth it. I've never had a better time and uh, I really appreciate everything I've learned and I've built a successful career fortunately. But it's not gotten easier, it's gotten harder. The music makes me love it and the people I work with. I get to spend my days with such talented people who sing and play at a world class level. I've never stopped appreciating that and being moved by it. For California Life, this is Jennifer Quinones.